Uh, so, I was, trying, I was trying to think of a way to take the emotion out of this. Or, uh, if, for example, the Howard Board came to us and said, we want to sever our arrangement. We've sold the building, you know, we, we no longer do uh, work, work activity there. We no longer are doing recycling there. You know, the equipment's wearing out, which the Solid Waste Agency owns the equipment uh, in the building. You know, the Howard Center owns it. So, you know, our equipment's wearing out. Um, our manager's getting older. He's getting close to retirement age. Um, would you consider pursuing another way of recycling? This is just a hypothetical. So, I contact, we have two landfills you know, close to us, Cherokee and Carroll. I contacted Carroll and, and they will take our 800 or 900 tons and charge us $20 a ton. And I called the people today just to make sure uh, the figures and things we discussed earlier this summer still held true. Talked to Mary Whitrock, John, and she said, Dean, you know, it would probably be less than $20 a ton that we would charge you because the, our recyclable sales are going up. And John was there. So, so you put that, and you start start out with a cost of 132000 last year that an audit's available for. And we got to pay 16, the Solid Waste Agency would pay the Carroll Recycling Center 16000 that's uh, you know it's an estimate of tons. Well, then we got to get it to Carroll, as opposed to getting it to Sac City, to the Howard Center. And most of the towns have come up with an estimate of a, a increase in transportation costs over the current situation. And the yeah, estimate that would be between twenty and thirty thousand. Okay, so there, there's another. Yeah, it's sixteen thousand expense and twenty thousand increased transportation. That for town. No, no. Counting by count all nine towns in the county. Okay. And yeah, I'm not good at speaking in front of people, and sometimes I say something, and something happens in my brain and doesn't come out. Quite. <laughs> so we got sixteen thousand for the tonnage cost to the Carroll Recycling Center. I estimate twenty thousand in transportation, and then uh, other things that, like Sac City, is the only town in the county that has a drop-off point. Uh, rural people utilize it, and, and John and Jim would better know what ratio that is and how many tons get dropped off in the the box on the side of the center. You know, I think a lot of rural people drop you know things off at the Howard Center, and from, my, from what I gathered from Nick and other people, some people in SAC, even though they have curbside, they drop it off up there. I don't know how many tons, you know, of the 800 get, are in that drop off, but we would have to address that, I would think, to keep things, you know, service is good. So that's kind of a SAC city problem, and it's a county problem. You know, one scenario, we, we could have a drop off point at the landfill for rural residents, and, and SAC could have a, a drop-off center for the people that don't want to use curbside for whatever reasons. And then, like John mentioned earlier today, you've got um, business people that deliver their own cardboard, they're just mo mostly cardboard probably, to the recycling center. Those are issues, and you got you know, how you put a value that cost, I don't know. You know, say say you could spend another twenty thousand, you know, trying to make that service. So there's another twenty. So that's fifty six thousand, and you subtract fifty six thousand from one hundred thirty two thousand. Then you come down to you know issues. You know, there's probably things that we can't identify, but you know that's a pretty good, pretty good margin now. Like John said, we've got jobs. That's a countywide consideration. It's probably even a bigger consideration than the city of Sac City. Lesser so, the farther you get away from Sac City, the less of an issue that is with my constituents. 
<laughs> I guess I mean, you all know if I'm sitting in Auburn or if I'm sitting in Wall Lake, they all look at this a little different. And that's why this is, you know, John and I started talking about this. It's, it's, uh, when I talked to Mary Whitrock today, you know, I, said, I said, Mary, I haven't been back to you for a while. You know, it's taken a while for this to, this discussion to, to work its way through all the councils. And she said, you're not alone. That's, they do things like this with other counties. They have different agreements with other neighboring counties. So she's very understanding. And, and as a side note, she said, anybody, you know, council people or, or uh, you know, board people want to, you know, visit the recycling center, you know, they'd be happy to, to show them. Because they're doing this with other counties. I've talked quite a while. 